What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more Kuroko no Basket. Today we're doing episodes 51 and 52, season 3, episodes 1 and 2. Now, before we get into anything, I'm sure you guys are aware, I'm sure some of you aren't, but the first and last episode of every season of every show we do on the channel, the full length version, which is normally a Patreon exclusive, is available for free for everyone. So click the link in the top of the description, enjoy that free full length, come back here when you're done for the review of the episodes. Um, and if you enjoy that format and want to consider keeping it for the future, maybe check out that Patreon. Great benefits over there. Other than that, I am very excited after how last episode ended. Last season ended with the Yosin win. Now we got the rest of the tournament to deal with. We still got uh, Kaijo, um, Shutoku, um, I, Akashi's team, which is Razukyan, I think. I don't really know. I'm very excited. Hopefully you guys are as well. If you are, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section. Don't forget to subscribe, click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Like I said, check out that Patreon. Other than that, let's hop right on into it. Kuroko no Basket, episode 51. I'm just playing as hard as I can. Let's do it. All right. Taiko Middle School Basketball Club, the Generation of Miracles. I love that picture. Kisei Ryota, Midorima. Aomine, Murasaki Bar. I love the transitions from their, their uniforms to their outfits to their uh their jerseys and shit. Shadow and light. Okay. I think this is opening five overall. Season three opening one. I'm loving the desaturation except for their uh jerseys and their hair. Anytime they cut to a little montage of some crazy plays. Ooh, Akashi, Takeo, Midorima, Kisei, Aomine. Come on. The basketball which Kuroko plays. Kuroko no basketball. What a crazy sentence right there by itself. See you in the semifinals, Kisei. <laughs> that's, that's the boy right there. Don't worry, I would be nervous as well. <laughs> Even though I spent all my time in front of a camera. <laughs> that's funny. Had to have been the... Uh, had to have been the Yosin or the Toa one, right? Oh, Shutoku. Interesting. That was a crazy game. I do miss Midorima and Takeo. They're one of the GOAT combos. Oh, we will. Actually, will we? I sure hope so. Speak of the devil. <laughs> I was just talking about you myself, guys. <laughs> yes, we would. Oh. 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 He's from Uruguay, or he's Uruguayan. I didn't know that. What? They just walk up to someone from Uruguay. Hey, do you have an eagle eye? That was his evolution. Like when you're during the second gym battle or something during a Pokemon game and your uh, main Pokemon evolves during the... <laughs> the gym and this is what kagami needed right here absolutely look at this shit oh my goodness gracious <laughs> i remember when that happened it gets a little deeper than that. He's like, wait, there's someone named Kuroko? I completely forgot about this <laughs> I love that. <laughs> this man is a literal ghost ninja. Oh, that was a great game as well. Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, Kuroko was absolutely a pivotal member of our team throughout multiple moments in all these games. We literally would not be here if it weren't for Kuroko no basket. Speak of the devil, Murasaki Bara. 
That's the title of this episode, isn't it? I'm just playing as hard as I can. Nothing else more to it than that. Give it all you can. <laughs> I hate him, but I love him. Now, is this what cut to the last episode? So, this at the end of the last episode was really after the interview. Good to know. Yeah, and then he gives him back the ring necklace and says, Come on, buddy. Secretly, yes. I mentioned it last episode, but there's many a show where they have brothers and rivals. You know, it's the healthy relationship that makes them both grow and prosper together. He does. And he was having his own conversation with Alex and all that. Go talk to him. Aww. I said it last episode as well, but W man's Kuroko. Kuroko is a great friend, literally. Speak of the devil. Who's coming and talking about my girl like that? Fukuda. Are you foreign half? You got some twist at the end of his hair. Who is this guy? Alright, buddy, relax. You're gonna be the next loser after Himuro, so we better watch what you're saying. No hesitation. Homeboy's about that smoke. He's gonna be swinging. I love these new commercial cuts for season three. That looks professional as shit. Who's their opponents today? That's what I'm curious about. He say looks focused. What did he notice though? That guy? What about that guy? That's what I'm saying. We're at a fucking basketball tournament. <laughs> he could get kicked out, disqualified for straight swinging. This guy better watch out. Like, it's all good to pick beef, pick rivalries, do whatever. Talk all the shit you want before the game. But if you're gaming on our girl also hitting us, like, what's going on? We need to whoop some ass. Yes, you did. The most dangerous man on the team, of course. Man's got Alex fucking in the air in a chokehold. Ah, oh, nah, we gotta whoop this dude's ass. Like, not in a basketball game, but like physically. We gotta whoop his ass. You know, if Almine gets this emotional just because he's so stoic, you know this guy's real deal. And he's over here fucking choke slamming fucking Alex? Hell no. What does he have? Like a nervous twitch? What's going on with my boy Kisa? He was on the GOMs before they were the GOM. At least he let go of her. Stop choking my girl. Come on. That's what I'm saying. Like, I would not be bothered with beating this dude's ass. If he's just hitting on Alex, we're not going to start a fight. But if he's physically swinging and beating up Himuro, like, ah, come on. Someone just throws a basketball at him? Who was that? Oh, Kisei came out. He knew some shit was going on, too. He felt the spider senses in his legs. That's what was going on. Haizaki. Yeah, fuck this dude. Akashi forced him to quit the team? Oh, so he had a different hairdo back in the day. <laughs> so there is some personal even though he said it's not revenge there is some personalness to that yeah especially because he took his title so he wants to take it back it is kind of a fitting irony you know so it's like this is kind of crazy like he can't be humbled through normal means with your fists. I'll humble him in the way he knows. Don't worry. That's kind of a bar. It's not something that matters that much to Kisei, but it's not something so droll as that he's going to let you take it for free. Oh, 
He is an intimidating force, to say the least. He's quite the asshole, but he is quite intimidating. He's like, why'd you come over here in general? He's like, I was just coming over here and say sorry. Let's be bros again. But I came over here. People be getting ass beat. Fucking goddamn. I love how Kisei was one of the per people who gave Kagami tough love during our last match. And now Kagami somewhat saying the same thing. Like, don't lose my boy. And I'm down to just kind of watch a game. We're not in a game right now. I can watch it without being like super invested. Actually, I am. I want Kisei to win so bad. Fucking standoff. I love the spotlight on these two individual players. Oh my god. First time hearing this ending. Let's see it. Okay, baby Kuroko. Look at how adorable you are. Even though this is an ending, this sounds like a fucking opening with how fucking intense this music is. And I love how it's cutting past the GOMs. Come on. Ending with the one I'm most excited for. Levi, come on. Like I said, for an ending that was pretty intense, seems like an opening, but I thoroughly enjoyed that, especially baby Kuroko. All right, on to episode 52 of Kuroko no Basket. This one's called It's Mine. We're going to see a flashback of Hayazaki. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if there's one thing Murasaki Bar will enter the zone for, it's his food. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. And Akashi didn't say a word throughout that whole ordeal. This is his first time hearing of him. You cut to the present time. Like I said, then we cut to present time and here we go again. I like uh, Aizaki's old haircut better. I won't lie. I mean, I like his new cut. I just like the silver hair, you know. Their captain is? Damn. I know. Like, if their captain's a national, well-rounded, fucking quick point guard, and he's obeying Haizaki. I understand that. If anyone was going to choose a public enemy, we can always rally around, get better, and blame. It's going to be the best to GOM, yeah. Especially with Haizaki as their forward guy. I get it. Everyone has their own routine, you know, getting ready. That's what I'm... All right, we got the first tip off. My boy Kasamatsu, great drive, great pass. Back over to Kasamatsu with the fake layup. Oh no, he just, that was so quick. He just made the bucket before I could even process it. All right, this boy's got the ball for the first time. Let's see what Hizaki does. And he's gone. He's smooth. Kisei said not today, even though I actually thought he was going to get that Duncan right there. Bro, how do you have a teammate that's like that? Yeah, Hanamiya's a shithead, but he was the center of his team. Well, Hayazaki's a different level of Hanamiya. That's true. If Hanamiya was a dickhead and he would work with his team, I, yeah, I might not like Hayazaki more than Hanamiya. That's saying something, to say the least. I'm glad Kasamatsu said that. I'm glad he said that. I fuck with Kasamatsu so much more now. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Under the legs? Man, it's just clean! With a fake over to Kisei, who's going up. Yeah, sit down, Hizaki. Alright, what's Saitama gonna do? Let's see it. Katsuragi with the underhand from the fucking free throw line. Okay, Scooper. Once Kise gets in that mode. Oh, he's the copy master. Task master Kise. I love it every time I see it. I really need Hizaki to turn up just so Kise can copy and surpass him, you know? Uh, through the legs just like Kasamatsu. This man can copy just like Kisei. Right? Anything you can do, I can do better. Alright, great pass. Over to my boy Yoshitaka. 
What? There are so many people with unique forms of their shots, you know? Like, you get some that release perfectly. You get some that, like, I, I've seen so many in my day, though. You know? He's going to take his own. He's literally stealing his own teammate's ball. He said, nope, I'm going to take that. That's mine. Every, every, all the teams are thinking like that, Junpei. Like, no one thinks he's a good player. Look at Rico, too. Even his wild form, he's just going to take. This guy's literally Taskmaster. It's a lot harder to block with that improper form, you know? So him and Kisei have very similar play styles. Makes sense, one, why they would replace him with Kisei. And two, I mean, because, yeah. They have the same ability, but Kisei is ten times a better person. Oh, they're slightly different? I'm curious where the differences lie in their power. They're ready for that move this time. <sighs> this is quite the predicament right here. Kaijo is most definitely on the back foot. Starting to get in their head now. All right. Okay, rebound getter. You love to see that. Who is that, number 10? I don't have his name. To oh, I do. Haya uh, Hayakawa? Hayakawa Mitsuhiro. Shouts out, my boy. <laughs> yeah. Hang time is definitely Kagami. Explosiveness, where it's pure acceleration to your target area. You don't jump that high, but you get there much faster. I like that in-depthness. Thank you for that analysis. Thank you for that observation analysis, Kiyoshi. But now, uh, Hayazaki saw him do that. Now he's going to have an explosive jump. Yep. Now four people are jumping for it. Five. And Hayazaki's going to be the one to get it. Hayazaki's getting in their head. They're down by nine. Damn. All right, way to stand up to him, Kisei. Come on. Nice. Get some momentum back in our favor. Oh, yeah. I'm, I literally remember that. I was so impressed when Kisei did the same thing. And now Hayazaki's going to do the same exact thing. But I'm not a copycat like you. What do you do? He's like Krolo versus someone who can copy. Is that what they say when they mean they he, like he's stealing your technique versus copying it? He literally has Krolo's fucking banded book right next to him. I'm trying to think, does anyone copy abilities in in Hunter Hunter? So he just makes them. He he copies them, but inter makes them their own. So it is more of a mental thing, him getting in their head, using their own ability, but as his, uh, literally interpreting it as his own, you know? He steals them. So he's like Krolo. That's the biggest difference between Krolo and another Nen user in Hunter x Hunter, is that they'll copy your abilities, he'll steal them. You're not using it when he's done with it, you know? I do like how they overlaid his image on the other image of the other people doing it to show there's a slight difference in that tempo and shit, you know? I still hate him as a person, though. <laughs> Akashi's just curious. He's like, I want to see myself who's better. And then we do know the team ended up choosing Kisei eventually. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I mean, 
don't get me wrong, Hizaki has has skills. He has the talent. I just don't like him as a character. Yeah, can Akashi say some words, please? I want to know your opinion on this. He says new. He's over here walking away, walking away with Kisei's new girl after he beat him in a challenge. And then you cut to the future and he's. Nah, we need to whoop his ass. Oh, wow. He's talking so much shit. I sure hope not. Like, I fuck with Kisei so much as one of the GOM. God, man, I don't want them to lose at all. Absolutely great start to season three. Was not expecting a newcomer to challenge our system. I don't know what else I can call it already. Like, and, uh, like I thought our foundation was just, we're going to keep scaling these GOMs and eventually make it to Akashi. And then bada boom, bada bing. Maybe that's how we win. But no, we have someone, a new challenger, a new challenger. Who's, I mean, he's an old challenger and he's not even going against us right now. Now, the real question is, is he going to beat Kisei and we then must beat him in the semifinals? Or is it going to be like Kisei overcoming new obstacles, getting a lot stronger, you know, mentally affirming his position in this game. And then we have to beat that upgraded Kisei in the semifinals. That's my real question. And I'm very curious about that. But we stay focused on this match and these episodes right here. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. I hate Hayzaki as a person. I think he's a dick and an asshole, but he definitely has the skills. He definitely has the talent to back it up. Just I don't know. I want to see his get. His, I want to see him get his ass whooped in the game and outside of the game, real bad. I can't lie. Like he's like one of those characters. Like I want to see him in like a Seven Deadly Sins scenario where he's so cocky, so arrogant. He's talking so much shit. I just want to see him swing on like an Escanor or someone, the wrong dude, and just. God, that seems so dark of me to just want that, uh, wish that upon someone. But I don't know. He needs he needs a little humbling to say the least our interview was was funny it was super super good i thoroughly enjoyed izuki the uruguay eagle eye <laughs> shout out to the rest of our squad shout out rico uh we're in the semifinals now i need everything to keep going i need this match to, 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 to end i need to see what happens i'm like eagerly anticipating this hopefully you guys are excited and enjoying this if you are please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section don't forget to subscribe, click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Check out that Patreon for early access. Full uncuts up to four episodes or one week ahead. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.